Hi guys, it's Anders. When you're making music, do you find that it's too rigid and that your quantized settings are quite awkward? I'm going to show you how to steal a groove from any track or any loop that you like. Let's get into that. Say my name aloud. Okay guys, so in the last video I showed you in the inspector in the quantize section how I had the quantize values from a audio loop in the project. So I'm going to show you how I created that. So let's say you've got a piece of audio and you really like the groove and feel of it, but playing that groove isn't your particular thing, or you've already built a track that's then maybe to the grid or to a different groove and you want to move it into that sort of sound. This is how you would do that. So let's take this piece of audio for example and that is just a drum loop. I could not tell you where it's from, sorry. Oh, it's like a funky two-step garage type thing going on. I don't think there's too much of a groove going on there, really. It's relatively slammed to the grid. But, I'd say the hats and that are a little bit groovy. But hey, what we're gonna do is take those values there. Now, at the moment, you can't do that. What you need to do is have Logic analyze what the groove is going to be. So we have this little icon here and that gives us our flex audio options. If we then take that and put it on rhythmic because rhythmic tends to work best for drum based material. Then in our magic inspector, which I showed you how to bring up by pressing I, we can go into quantize and we can go make groove template at the bottom. Although we have to have that piece of audio selected for that to then show up. As you saw there, when the audio isn't selected, it won't give you the option. Now, if I say make a groove template, that will then exist in here. And I've made it twice now, but you get the principle. And then if you didn't need any of this turned on, you can, in fact, turn it off. To then have that affect another piece of audio, we do a similar thing. Let's take this piece of audio now, for example. It's just a nice hat loop that goes along with it. But let's say for whatever reason, it didn't fit with what we were already doing. Or it's a, it's a completely another sample we just really like the sound of. We're lazy. We don't want to cut it up and make it match that groove. We want to do it the modern way. We're going to do the same thing and go into here. I'm going to select rhythmic again. Now that this is uh, quantizable, if you will, because it's being cut up into all those little sections rhythmically, we can go quantize. We can grab the quantize preset we made and it's going to link those in nicely. So now the shuffles match exactly with that groove and you can also apply that to MIDI regions as well. So this track for me already bounced along quite nicely but let's try this out and see. Let's grab all of these guys here and we're going to quantize those with this and there was definitely some movement in there. Let's hear what we've got. Say my name aloud Talking to me through him I preferred it how it was, but the principle's there. And that's how you can take a groove from any piece of audio and any uh, loop that you're using and make it your own and apply it to your music. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.